Welcome back guys, time for an update video on the Defender 110. I've had this for almost two years now. It's due an oil service, uh, that's coming around pretty quick, but I am not taking it to our usual garage because they damaged the car, they damaged the wheels. Uh, basically I left it with them to do the UJ replacement. If you scroll back a couple of videos, you'll see uh, what, what happened with the car down in Cornwall. I gave them uh, the Defender literally for a day just to sort it out. And they took the wheels off it. You don't need to take the wheels off to change the uh, the UJ uh, bolt. And when they put it back on, uh, when they put the wheels back on, they somehow managed to scuff the hubs. Now, I know it's not a big deal. They didn't damage the wheels as such. It literally is the, the metal hubs. But, I mean, they're twisted automotive wheels. I spent a fortune on these things. And it's the first time they've been off the car since they were fitted. And I've managed to own the car for the amount of time I have without doing a single bit of damage to them. Yeah, I give the car to the garage for an afternoon and they manage to scuff the hubs on it. You know, yes, it's a Defender. I know you'll probably roast me in the comments of saying, oh, yeah, there's little dents here and there. I don't care. If I do the damage, that's for me. That's on me. It's my car. If I want to damage it and scratch it, I do that. You know, I don't expect to give it to a, a, a garage and for them to cause damage. And this is the thing. I wouldn't have an issue with it except for the fact they've apologized and that's where they've left it. I've explained to them that, yeah, it's not, not a massive deal, but it's the principle of it. You know, they've damaged it. It's not even that expensive just to get a new set of hubs. But no, they just said, oh, terribly sorry. We, we try not to uh, damage our customers' vehicles when they come in and we'll uh, we'll take it up with our mechanics to make sure it doesn't happen again. Case closed. Just as a business owner myself, if I damaged one of my customers' goods and then they approached me about it and they provided photos and they shared it was their pride and joy, even if they're like, it's not a massive deal, but it's, you know, it's frustrating. And then I just said sorry to them. And that was it. I, I wouldn't cut it for me. I would need to just fix it. I couldn't just say sorry and then just get on. Um, but yeah, everyone's different, aren't they? And the thing is, I wasn't going to say anything, but it's not the first time they've done it. When my Range Rover was in getting service with them ages ago, they managed to just do a little scuff on one of the uh, alloys. And... That was really annoying because as far as I'm aware, that is the only set of two Crave alloys um, in the UK. And again, it's a little tiny scuff, so I didn't really feel compelled to say anything. I thought, ah, oh, whatever, I'll let it go. But then the fact they'd done it again, it just, it was too much. You know, these guys, I've used them with the Defender for ages. I've used them with the Range Rover for ages. I've referred loads of business to them. And uh, if that's how they treat you, you know, I was going to give them probably a couple grand's worth of work to do all the suspension. It needs your oil services, a few other little bits. Now, I'm going to use someone else now, just out of principle, and it's a shame. Now, I'll show you quickly what they've done. Again, it's only tiny, it's just little scratches, but, I mean, these were brand new. There was no damage on them. And I'll go back to the whole thing again. You know, if I do the damage, I really couldn't care less. It's me that's done the damage. It's if you give it to another company and they cause the damage, and then they just give you an apology. That's what bugs me. So, you see here, it's just around the hub where they've taken the wheels off and put them back on. I don't even know how they've done this, but you shouldn't be able to even scuff those bits there. You just literally put them on the wheels and then the wheels go onto the hub and you put the, the nuts back on. So I don't know how they've managed that, but they've done that on two, three of them of the uh, the five. Obviously, they didn't take the one off the back, thank God. Um, but yeah, just a little bit frustrated. It's, you know, it's nothing really, but it is the principle that, you know, annoys me more than anything else. So the other little bits that have gone wrong with the car recently, the central locking started playing up. Now this is something that happens a lot with Defenders. It's just the wiring. I'll show you, there's a little bit of wire that runs between the doors. And when Land Rover made it, obviously they did put like, you know, shoelace thin wire in it. And over time it just deteriorates and um, snaps. So it breaks the circuit and then you just suddenly find one of your rear doors stops. Um, being part of the, the central locking party it's quite easy to fix um albeit i had to diagnose the first one by stripping the rear door down checking the actuator none of that was at fault and eventually I, I kind of you know traced it back to where that wire goes into the door literally just just connected it again and it's fine so the first door took a while to fix um i had the same thing happen on the passenger door behind me and that took me all of about 15 minutes to fix because i knew what the issue was second time around also have one of the hinges on the front door go. It's still attached, but I think the pin inside it has just snapped or something because my door now doesn't close as easily as it should. And it almost isn't quite level now. So I've had to order a new one of these. Um, you, have, you get them in these kind of silvery standard color. You have to paint them up and then have to strip the door um, area down. So you can basically just, yeah, swap it over. It's very straightforward to do. As I mentioned in another video, I am going to look at getting the suspension and the springs, the shocks, dampers, all of that done shortly just to improve it because we do use this quite a bit now. 
Um, probably going to use a company called Empire Tuning. They're the guys that did the remap on this. So Gareth's also very handy with doing other general stuff to the Defenders. I'll put a link in the description so you can check him out. The car otherwise has been hellishly reliable. I really can't fault this thing. We don't even think twice about just jumping in it and driving it all the way down to say Cornwall. It's just such a reliable car. Absolutely love it. Yeah, you've got little bits that kind of break, but not often. They don't break anymore. You know, I'd say the, the Rangey and the other cars break more than a Defender. If it's well maintained, you, you really can't go wrong with them. Still getting waved out left, right and centre everywhere you go, but I've noticed it is... There's almost like a divide now with, with Land Rover Defender owners. You, I wait until I'm waved at before I, I go off the uh, the top of the steering wheel. Loads of them these days are just, I don't know if it's just the time of the year, everyone's grumpy, or but people just aren't waving. So I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the wave now. I think I've offended a few people because I've missed them, but yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's changing. People aren't waving as much. I think the only pet hate I've got with this car at the moment is the damn cobwebs everywhere I mean, you see it there but you leave this car literally for like a day and it's like the entire world of spiders decide they want to descend upon it and just set up camp everywhere you go it's just constantly you come back to your car and it's got a new spider web on it i can see one now i'm gonna have to stop this video because i want to go and uh uh be nice to the spider i'm not gonna squash him right spider uh rescued all good uh that's pretty much it it was just a pretty short video just to do a, a quick update because i'm conscious i haven't put anything up on um on youtube recently and i wanted to start doing some videos again it's also getting very hot in here that's one thing even though i've soundproofed it and put insulation in it's still like a sauna it really is oh and one more thing as well the clutch pedal is squeaking again that's even more annoying than the spider webs i put oil on it i put wd-40 on it i put everything vaseline coconut oil it's not doing it now you swine but yeah, anyway, it's really, really squeaky. So every time you're driving along, you just put your foot there like, every time you do it. And um, I've got used to it now because I have children and they generally go Ear! all the time as well. But yeah, when I'm on my own, it's a bit annoying. It's not doing it now. Maybe it's because it's warm. Who knows? But yeah, so that, that's one of a little pet hate I've got about this thing. It just keeps squeaking. But yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Talk some nonsense. And I'll see you again soon. <laughs>